Welcome back to Berlin for the Grundig Fiac Mountain Bike World Cup. Well, the World Cup final, shall we say. And quite honestly, it's a bit that way. Because looking at the overall classification in the men's, as we check Mike Kluger, the German, the man who has won the European Cup, the, cha the Challenge Trophy, he is in 11th place at the moment. Ned Overend, the grand old man of mountain bike racing, fifth in the championship. Didn't stop him winning, though, did it, in Park City? He could win the championship still. Indeed, any of about the top ten could. Gerhard Zadro Bilek, now 30, the ex-PDM professional, a man who finished third in the Tour de Suisse, in the top 15 in the Tour de France, and I think he was the top 20 finisher in the Giro d'Italia as well. Very experienced, Mike Closer. Top American, hasn't got a win, but as you can see, he's been a rostrum man at Chateau Dirks last time out in Switzerland and very early on in the championship at that frightening course in France. The winner from Traverse City, Rishi Grewal, second overall at the moment, another American. And here is the Vanilla Gorilla, David Wins, the current leader, but not by far. And a good season he's had as well, that win in Mammoth Lakes being his, his high point. He took the lead in the championship last time out in Chateau Dirks. But quite honestly, we're going to have to do some quick mathematics here because out of the nine rounds, this is the ninth. Only six count in the final classification. And this, the Berlin race, this is double points. Big field, 130 of them. 35 seeded through. Peter Crick, number 10, the Czechs there. Number 9, Mike Kluger. Number 2, you can catch sight of Rishi Grewal there. Really tight first bend. And number 1, the blue jersey, David Williams, mired way back in the pack there. Will not be a happy man. As you can see, the traffic is heavy on this first little uphill. As we look at the front, Henrik Dernis, the Danish, man who was the Danish cyclocross champion several times, second in the last cyclocross uh, world championships. He's on the front, number seven. Quick ten is next, and it's Kluger, Tommy Post. Oh, Tomac number six is in there. The, all the big guys are in there as we look at them coming through. Here we are on the bit of a downhill. Looks like Jernis. With Crick next along. And Mike Kluger's there. Okay. Tricky little descent here. The course builders tried, tried very hard not to give these guys anywhere they can build up a rhythm. Little descents, quicker sense, not easy. That is number 07, that is number 7, Henrik Jernis, the Dane, the cyclocross ace on the front. Kluger getting the cheers, number nine. Okay. Number two, Grewal's there. Number eight, that's Price. Daniel Price of the States went through. <laughs> number ten, that's Peter Frick on the front now. With Rishi Grewal. Now, Rishi Grewal, number two, that tells you one thing. It tells you he's second in the World Cup at the moment. That's where he wants to be, because David Williams, we just haven't seen anything of, apart from seeing him go through well, well midfield. The leaders sorting themselves out. And we should be getting the uh, second lap positions very shortly. This will give us an idea...
Tomac. Yep, John Tomac, number six on the front. The split in the name, Tinker Suarez, number 36, and you see him leads from Ned over and Jernis, who has been on the front, on the back, on the front, whatever of that leading group. And now Gerhard Zadro Bilek is in that leading group. In fact, he is number four on the tail of that leading bunch. 28, Thomas Frischknecht. He is next along, but this man is leading. This is John Tomac. Tomac, Tomac of the USA currently lying sixth in the overall classification. There's Ned Overend. He's leading the, the chasers. 36 is next, Suarez. Then Jernis. Four, Zadra Bilek is next along. Who's in there? Price, Frischknecht, Greewall on the back of that group, it looks like. If you see number two, there he is, Rishi Greewall. And number nine, Mike Kluger. There's Peter Crick hanging in there, the tough Czech cyclocross star. So Tomac is off like a locomotive, isn't he? There's Schoenis, he's leading the chase with Suarez. 64, that's Ulrich Rottler. Ned Overend next along number five. And then it's Price. Daryl Price of the specialised team. Schoenis. Second place, seventh overall in the World Cup. But John Tomac has disappeared as we look at Overend. And really, it's difficult to see that any of the leaders can do anything about this. The blue jersey going through there, David Weans, and he was pretty well down. Certainly behind Price, behind Zedra Bilek. And Tomac is travelling. Well, the Americans might not have liked this golf course of a mountain bike track. But it's not stopping Tomac. There's Zadra Bilek, number four, behind number 36, Tinka Suarez. Number four, Zadra Bilek, the Austrian, Gerhard Zadra Bilek. Now, he is the man who, if Tomac wins, if Tomac wins, as we look at number 35, that's Jürgen Strich. If Tomac wins, by my addition, if Gerhard Zadru Bilek finishes second, he can still win the World Cup. So Zadru Bilek has got to get second place. There he is, number four, Gerhard Zadru Bilek. Number 10, Frick. Number two, Greewall. Now, Greewall does not look like a happy boy, and he's fairly well down. I think Greewall, Rins, Closer, they look like they're out of it, quite honestly, as we go to the leader. And look, John Tomac is still pumping round. He has got a lead. And this course is not the sort of place where this sort of gap is going to be closed. Well, we'll take a break. You can come back and find out if he does in a minute. Welcome back to Berlin as the leader. John Tomac goes through the fourth lap, leading from Suarez over end price and significantly Zadro Bilek way back in fifth. Now, as Tomac disappears on another lap, four more to go. He's halfway around this uh, final race of the Grundig Fiac Mountain Bike World Cup. John Tomac looks to be in a safe lead. 36, there's Tinker Suarez. Over ends with him, number five. So is Price, and Zadra Bilek is in that group with Jernis. There's Zadra Bilek of the Red Bull team, number four. We're going to see him. There he is. That's Jernis, the Dane, right with him. And quite honestly, Zadra Bilek has got to get to the front of this group. There's Frick. And he's got Rishi Greewall with him. So Rishi Greewall, if he's that far down, he's eighth or ninth. He is not going to make an impression on the list. There's Kluger and, and Rogers, Mike Kluger, the German from Berlin. He's racing on his home ground. And there is Dave Wiens with two of the Italian national squad in front of him. 
And Dave Wins, the leader of the World Cup before this race started, he looks to be out of it. This man, Tomac, and he is charging. We keep saying, whoa, dear Carl Bruder, local boy. Well, he seems to have got away with that quite likely. He came down a bit of a perler. Ah, Zadra Bilek. Now, he's in front. Looked like Zadra Bilek there in front of Suarez. Was he? Now then, let's see Ned Overend. No, sorry, that's Mike Kluger, number nine, going through. Beg your pardon. Ignore number 80. He's been lapped. You're looking at number six, the leader, John Tomac, the XPMX star. We keep saying he's not the most elegant bike rider in the world, but my God, is he effective. He knows that he's got to win this race if Gerhard Zadrabilek is in that leading group. And there is Zadrabilek in front of Suarez. Zadrabilek is second. That position would give Zadrabilek the World Cup, but he's got Suarez over in Jernitz and Price still with him. And no way is that position safe. Tinker Suarez, number 36. He's in third place, 216 there, as you can see, is a lapped rider. Number five, Ned Overend. And number seven, Henrik Jernis. And number eight, Daryl Price. Those really are the leaders. Next along, Mike Kluger. The local man getting plenty of coverage, as you'd expect. Well, the crowd didn't like that very much. In the pack here. Need a midfield men going through. That tricky little downhill as Tomac. Tomac hammers on at the front with plenty of encouragement from the crowd and he attacks these downhills like all the American riders with some enthusiasm. Zandra Bilek leads, Suarez leads over end. Whoa, Zadra Bilek's in the bushes. Dear me, that's Zadra Bilek. Overend had to stop. The dust must have gotten his way. Oh, dear me. Where's my bike? Now, could that have lost Gerhard Zadra Bilek the World Cup? He was in second. He needed to be second. We're back with the leader. He is a super rider. He is not stylish, but he is effective. He has gone off from the start here, knowing that, well, if he wins, it's the best he can do. Suarez is second, and it would give, of course, Tomac a chance of the win. He was only sixth, John Tomac, in the World Cup ratings before this race. But the rest of the Americans have fallen by the wayside figuratively. Gerhard Zadrabilek has fallen by the wayside literally. There's Jernis. With Jürgen Sprick and Thomas Frischknecht. Behind him, top German rider looking good. That's Kluger again, running in a top ten place. Now, what we need to know is has Zadra Bilek made up any of the ground he lost with that crash? Because Gerhard Zatra Bilek really needs second place. Let's make the assumption that John Tomac is going to win this event. And he's still in there. Zadra Bilek's up to third. He's got past, past Overend and Sprick. Tinker Juarez still second. That's the leader number six going through. The other men there are not in the running. John Tomac, he won in that on that vicious course in Manosk. And quite frankly, this... Uh, course in Berlin could not be more of a contrast. Here he is again, John Tomac. All he can do is win it and hope that some of his fellow countrymen or some of the Germans can keep Zetra back. Here is Zwarech in second, Tinker Zwarech. He is American. The Klein Campanolo team. Where is that? There's Zadra Bilek. Zadra Bilek is in third, but he's not actually in sight of Juarez. And it looks as if John Tomac might have something to thank Tinker for, doesn't it? Ah, oh, the Stiefel sisters, as were. Regina Stiefel on the left, the sister Susie Buckweiser on the right. 
looking at Jürgen Strich, who is now up to uh, fourth place, assuming he is in front of his... I call him another German, I'm sorry, Thomas Fischknecht, he's Swiss. If you see him, number 28, you don't see him, so let's assume Strick is fourth. Look at Kluger on that tricky little downhill. You can see, oh dear, he's lost his feed bottle. Back to the uphills, and this is Tomac. Here we go, Tomac across the finish line again. Eight out of the ten laps done. Suarez still second, Andrew Willick still third. Strick up to fourth, as we thought, in front of Ned Overend. That's Suarez, the second place man. Doing his fellow countrymen at the front a very big favour indeed. There he is, Tomac. Suarez. Sadro Bilek in third. And he is charging, isn't he? Oh, he's gone again, by the look of it. There's a big cloud of dust. Yep, he's off again. Gerhard Sadro Bilek throwing caution to the winds and it's doing him no good at all. Jürgen Sprich, number 35, the German of the Scott International team. Here's Thomas Frischkenek, the Swiss. I'll get it right this time, of the Ritchie team. And there's Mike Closer, who was third before the start of this race. Mike Closer, who's outside the top ten at the moment, would you believe? Tomac again. But the question is, where is Juarez and where is Zadra Bilek? The relationship between those two men currently running in second and third will effectively decide the outcome of the World Cup. There is Suarez. He looks like he's suffering, but he's still in second place. And here is Zadra Bilek. Oh, mechanical problem. The chain's off the front wheel. Oh, after his crashes, does he need this? And in mountain bike racing, you can't change machinery. You have to race with what you started with. Dear me, what a finish to the World Cup for Gerhard Zadra Bilek. A man who for nine years was a racing professional. Here's Tomac styling it at the finish. Tomac wins the Berlin round of the World Cup and he wins the Grundig World Cup as well. Assuming that, yes, here he is. Juarez is second, so Tomac is the World Cup winner. As Zadra Bilek kept going, yes, he is. What a shame for the Austrian to lose out with that mechanical as well as he slides it into the finish. But Gerhard Zadra Bilek. Third in this round in front of Sprick and Frischknecht. Good results for the German and the Swiss there. The top Americans really. And the course wasn't very exciting as a racer, uh, but it was good competition. So, and the race developed very, very nicely for me early. So, after the race got started, I, I just went and did what I had to do. <laughs> Thank you, John Tomac, popping up there. The winner of the race and the winner of the Grundig World Cup. Sarah Valentine, she is the World Cup winner for the ladies. Furtado, second, and Stiefel keeping the European flag flying. That goes down well with the locals. But there is the man who has done it by one point. John Tomac of the Rally USA team has won the 1991 Grundig Fiat Mountain Bike World Cup. He won in Manosk the second round of the championship. He was second in Mammoth. He was first here. That's good enough. <laughs>